Hi guys, it's Gav here from DarksPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be answering some of your questions. I put a tweet in the message out yesterday because I get on so many and I do try and get back to you. But many of you can probably imagine Darts Planet over the last 14 months has just gone absolutely crazy. We've gone into magazines and podcasts and we've got so many amazing writers now and we're really trying and working hard behind the scenes to actually make this into uh, the best dark site in the UK and I do feel as though we're getting there. So let's have a look at what I put out. I put the question out. I get asked so many questions every day. Tomorrow I'm going to do a video and answer some of my favourite ones. Add your question below and I'll do my best to answer them. So that is what I'm doing. Uh, on Twitter, the first one I got made me laugh, it was from a Wilf Ansel. When are you putting your offer in for the BDO so they can announce their big announcement? Well, obviously we all know that it was delayed, uh, the BDO one, uh, the other day, and Des is, is just waiting to sort it out. I can confirm that it is Darts Planet TV that actually has put the offer in for it. No, it's not. I'm just teasing. I'll tell you what, though, if I was behind it, and this is nothing against the BDO, I really would give that a shake up, how the social media and that's done. I'm probably going to get slated for this, but a lot of the time the BDO don't actually help themselves. They really should uh, be doing lots more, um, <laughs> just in lots of areas. So I would certainly give them a shake up, probably get a slap on the wrist for that one. Uh, Claire Stringer. They said, this is brilliant, Claire. How do you like your steak? Uh, the reason for this one is because I'm going over to Claire's tonight. I'm going to see Harvey. He's one of my biggest fans. We play darts. He plays county uh, for Sudbury Youth. He's a lovely guy. He doesn't actually know that I'm popping over um, and we're going to have fun. So, Claire... I like my steak, sort of medium, little bit of blood in it, um, which is surprising for somebody that just faints at the sight of it. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. Henry Chill, how did you get Dance Planet TV where it is today? What is your secret to success? And will you be buying the Rob Cross book? Uh, I've just worked hard, really, Henry. Uh, believe in all my brands, what I do. Um, I think it's key in this day and age to have a really good platform and a really strong brand and whether it's um, not just through social media but on lots of different platforms and just make sure that whatever you do is always put out to a high quality um, rather than just you know putting stuff out there because often that can can have an impact on your brand. Um, yeah, so lots of hard work, dedication, and I've got goals to where I want Darts Planet TV to go. And yes, of course, I will buy your Rob Cross book when it comes out. Jack Alexander, who has been your number one Scottish fan from the start? Jack, you know it's you, met you up at Blackpool, always been really supportive, know you've got some of the merchandise as well. Uh, you've been an absolute legend since the start of the channel um, and can't wait to see you again soon. Hopefully you're booking down to come to the tournament. Uh, the Maximum 180, favourite player you've met? Without a doubt, it's got to be Hendo. I was lucky enough to interview him. I see him the other week up at Minehead as well. Is I love everything about him. He's, he's an absolute gentleman. Um, yeah, I love Endo. Uh, Joe Williams, how much of a help is that Joe Williams? It's from Joe himself. Joe, you're a little superstar in the making, mate. Keep going where you are, and who knows? Loads of doors will open up for you, mate. You're, you're a really good, dedicated um, kid, and I think that lots of people can learn from you, and I certainly appreciate all your support. 180 The Law. Comments on Barney's impromptu retirement. Uh, rash decision. I think he'll probably sit down, have 48 hours, think about it. I would imagine that a fair of his sponsors didn't even know. Um, so I think that's something that uh, probably will be retracted. I can't see him after getting to a Players' Championship final the other week, only losing out to Lewis. He's going to want to be in the last world, surely for one last time. And I think um, it might be reversed. I might be wrong. Um, so there's some on Twitter. Now let's have a look. I can't answer all of them because I had so many. But let's have a look at some of them. Uh, the ones that I've got on YouTube here. Uh, just going to them. Right. Uh, LL Gamers. Do you think the youth scene is going to take over? Yeah, I think the youth that are coming through is absolutely amazing. They've obviously got the JDC, they've got the development tour, they've got all the right structure there now uh, to go forward and play some insane darts. And some of the youngsters, they don't have to fear. Years ago, the players were, um, were limited with tournaments. Now these guys have uh, places to go every single week and play. So uh, the youth is in a really, really, really good place at the moment. Uh, Timmy the Snail, what are your win more vengeance dart like to play with and throw? 
absolutely awesome. As you can see, I know Winmore sent these to me. I love them. Mine are slightly heavier. I went for 26 gram. They're really grippy. Uh, I, like I said that before, I went from about 22 gram to 26. It was weird. When I first got these, I was actually throwing out of the board. Um, and I think it's because you throw harder because of the weight. But absolutely fantastic darts. As you know, Winmore is my uh, favorite brand. So definitely, if you can, treat yourself to them. Actually, we've also got a giveaway for the Vengeance Darts in this month's magazine. So uh, buy the magazine and you could have some on the way to you. Uh, Nico, um, but oh, I can't pronounce that. Uh, do you think Michael Smith is bottling the major? I think that, yes, I think it is very difficult for Smith. Um, we know that he got to the world final this year, uh, recently got married. But it's very, very difficult for him because he's seeing a lot of players around him that we, a lot of people have said, oh, Michael Smith's the next one, he's going to get majors and that. James Wade's one two, Daryl Gurney's one two. Um, you know, Gerwin Price has won two uh, of recent times. And Bully Boy still haven't got over the line with one of the big majors. I think he will do it, but I think uh, the sooner he does, the better. And then I think he'll go on to win um, multiple ones. Uh, Harry Doherty, who's your favourite dark player? Used to be Peter Snake by it right, not so much anymore. Um, there's a number of players that I like. Like I said, I like uh, I like Hendo. Actually, I love watching Menchus Sulevich play when he's on. I like everything about him. I like the way that he goes about the game. He smiles. Um, so he's up there with one of my favourite players. But my favourite right now has to be Corey the King Cadby. A uh, lot of uh, debates on him coming back. I love the guy. Uh, Going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, Charlie the Boss Gray. Can you see MVG winning the Premier League for the fifth time? And can MVG win the World Darts Championship for the fourth time? Yeah, MVG at the moment, absolutely devastating. Looking fantastic. I actually think his biggest competitor in the Premier League this year potentially could be James Wade because he's playing some of the best darts uh, that he's done in years. But we can never rule MVG out and there's no reason why he won't win that and the championship for the fourth uh, time. Ellis Hollyhead, name three future world champions. Uh, let's go. Corey Cabby is, yeah, Corey Cabby's one. Um, Dimitri van der Berg, he's got, he'll be a world champion. And, of course, the youngster, Leighton Bennett, if he carry on playing the darts, he is. Uh, see him the other week in uh, uh, the tower against Taylor. Incredible for 13. What a future um, he has got. Uh, Jed Loveday, Gav, will you ever do a tour if the channel got big enough? I would love to. I would love to travel all around the world. I'll go to China, Japan, try all the different foods uh, and alcohol at the same time. Yeah, I would love to do that. Um, and it is a goal of mine. I'm very lucky. Um, I do get about a lot now, um, for argument's sake. Uh, next week, I'm going up to Newcastle. A couple of weeks after that, I'm covering the Potters uh, Super 8 tournament. Uh, should be going up to Bristol at some point as well to be doing a little bit of filming and, and get to, to visit so many places. So very, very lucky. But Las Vegas would be my old one. I could go over there, have an amazing time and come back homeless when I lose all my fortunes in the casinos. I've um, already done that one. And uh, we'll wrap it up with this one. Deal, 11 hours ago, we put, uh, how many 180s have you here? Only about seven or eight. Hit loads of 140s on my, on my own, but get really excited when I get two in um, and often miss the last one. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed me answering some of your questions. Uh, please, I will be doing them again, actually, because there was lots more. So if I didn't answer your questions uh, today, I will be doing them in future videos. I hope that you do like the channel. Please get behind it. Please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications, and I'll catch you all next time. I hope you have a super weekend.